it going everybody? Angelo here and welcome back to the Shave Arcade. Hope you got your quarters ready so let's get our game on. And I'm going to showcase uh, some classics uh, which is going to be one of my most favorite scents in wet shaving. Uh, this is a classic right here. This is Chella or Sella however you pronounce it but I have this in the little tub here. It's a softer cream and the oh it's got that sweet cherry aroma and this is 1899 italy right here and to follow up with that beautifulness i'm going to be using the matching aftershave but as some friends of mine as well so we all kind of have the same opinion where the aftershave does smell a bit different if not even totally different to some noses than the soap and I've actually had some friends actually say that they wish that they made this scent in the soap by itself. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I love them both, but they pair really well when you mix them together. So, and then for my brush, I have, of course, because you want to be matchy-matchy, I have a red Turning by Tans Tansy brush, and it has a synthetic G5C knot, and I have it lathered up in my fine accoutrement bowl so we got a pretty good lather and that's from literally from about mm, say about a good almond size amount of soap and look at that so and then for hardware i'm going to be using another classic my very first um de razor which is going to be this one here the recur 34c also known as the 34c hd and I have that loaded up with a fresh Gillette Silver Blue. So, I cannot wait to get this shave going. I got a good two days, two and a half worth of growth. And I really need it. So, got my sink ready filled with some nice hot, hot water. So, let's get going on this. Yes. So, this soap here, Chella is one of my i have to say uh <laughs> one of my therapy soaps so i actually like to keep this at my desk so i work from home majority of the time and sometimes depending on my day i just crack this baby up and just <sighs> i just take a sniff i mean i love because it, it just fits right in the hand it's a, it's a perfect little size and i just love the scent so and it just it's just so pleasing and it, it just helps me with my day. I don't know. Do you guys have a desk work therapy soap or scent that you use? Put in the comments below. <laughs> so, but uh, I know this is just something that I do. But like we do here in the Shave Arcade, this is a very classic scent. A scent that's actually been done um, by several artisans as well this you know cherry type of almond scent and there are a lot of iterations of it out there and they all fairly really good too so um do do some research out there or you can find some that you know correspond with this too uh, but this is very nice great slather hydrated I'm gonna dip the brush a little bit Cost effective too. I mean, for for what you get out of this, um, yeah, definitely would recommend it. If anything, at least for a good scent therapy, <laughs> aromatherapy, as it, as you could say. But it's my my desk huffing so. <laughs> but I have many that I that I like to cycle through, but this one's always there. So, all right, there we go. Just quick short work of that and tell you that it just lathers so easily. So also too, showing off the new shirts for the Shave Arcade merch. There you go. Um, you check out the links and such. You can see probably get yourself one of these, all different styles and things like that, colors um, that I've yet to get. So, but uh, they're all available on there. So go check it out. I'll have a link down below. All right, so. Wet this a little bit and let's get going. Oh yeah. 
had this razor going on almost three years now. Two and a half. Still shaves like the day I got it. Look at that. Beautiful. Turn it around. So this is a two-piece razor. I should show you real fast. Just got the bottom die right here. If you guys haven't seen this, just turn it and that lifts it up right there. You can put your blade just like that. So a blade goes down in there. Hit your razor. Put it down. There you go. Lines up every time. No problems. So quick, easy design. This is one of the, um, besides the uh, um, Edwin Jagger D89 Mercura 34C, it's right up there is one of the most recommended razors to new wedge shavers. Uh, especially, like I said, you know, the two piece makes it easy, easy for cleaning. You know, it's got the nice shiny chrome finish. So um, there is a little bit of a blade tab overhang on this one, much like the Edwin Jacker does as well. So do be mindful of those tabs, kind of like the um, vintage Gillette. So just, you know, be mindful there. Move your nose a little bit. Take your time. But this shout out would definitely help. So, or Sela, I've heard it pronounced both ways. There you go. So I always like to use something like a Gillette Silver Blue, Gillette Platinum, Nasset. Something a little bit more upper as far as like efficient type of blade. Um, it could be that this is considered a more mild type of razor. You can kind of dial it up if need be, depending on your growth and, um, you know, uh, you know, how coarse your beard is, uh, but if it's been for a day, I might use the Astra Green with it or a, um, the Gillette Schick. I mean, there's so many awesome blades out there. But if you have a Mercur 34C or 34G, if you have the, uh, you know, the, the, the gold pimped out version, do comment below. Let me know what blade do you use with your 34C? I'd like to know. And while you're there, you can drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. So tell your friends. Oh, you can hear that feedback. Mm-hmm. Until that silver blue is getting its work out. Oh. <laughs> there we go. First pass. Awesome. I absolutely love it. So what I like to do, um, I actually like to take the paper as I save this from the blade. Uh, Gillette's, they come with like a two-piece. So I actually set that on my sink and I set my blade, my razor on it so it's not directly hitting the, the metal on the sink. So I know it's weird, but it's just one of the things I like to do. Plus that way you don't hear the cling clang when I set the razor down. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's get on to the second pass. Look at that. Wow. Just from that little bit that I put in there, look at all that salt. Just from that little almond, almond and a half size of salt that I scoop. I scoop, um, rarely ever do I ever uh, tub load. So my majority of all the time, I always scoop my soaps. Look at that. Look at that. That is a beautiful lather. If you guys don't have chela, you gotta get some. They do make, I think it's in a green one as well, which is more of the aloe. Uh, that one I believe is good for sensitive skin. Or if, you, if it does have the aloe in it, that's the green. I think it comes in a tube. Um, 
there are a lot of different products available with them. So they actually have a brushless cream in the two in the red uh, cella. And they also have a big, huge, like square brick that I guess what a lot of people from what I hear legends of that people would like all chip in and buy one of these big, huge soap bricks and like cut a slice off, you know, and then they'll get like a, a shave mug or, you know, a cup like this, like my AKA one. And they'll all would take chunks off of this big, huge brick and distribute it to everybody that they all chipped in. And they would just have, that would be their soap. And that's all that they would use. <laughs> so, so many cool practices and stuff and folklore that you hear about wet shaving is so awesome. So one of the things that I love about this is that you can do whatever it is that works for you and it's not going to be the exact same as for you or for you or for you or for anybody. So, which is so cool. But the one thing I can agree on is that this cella is awesome. And that it smells really nice. Look at that. Wow. And I am, speaking of, Italy, friend of mine, old school Italian, comes from old school Italian family. Uh, we're actually wearing his band on my wrist. So five old gear, and which is La Paris. Uh, he's a police officer down in Tennessee. He makes uh, merch and stuff as well. And the thing is that uh, he has a lot of stuff to be able to support the, uh, you know, support the blue. So I will also link his shop in the description below. It's my brother, brother from another mother. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I was like to wear this. So shout out to Italy. <laughs> But, uh, yes, I support the blue. There we go. I've known him since high school, but it's like we grew up together, so. It's got good merch, t-shirts, and the candy, um, chewable like different shapes like uh, gummies and stuff or it's regular candy mind you just regular candy <laughs> uh, and they are really good so there we go going against the grain kind of but to me this way is actually across the grain now if I went this way I know I spoke about this in another video that direction is actually against the grain for me, the way my grain map is. But so this way is actually across the grain. I actually have a shirt that says that in my uh, uh, in my shop. So it's got with the grain, across the grain, and against the grain. So I'm going to get that soon, show it off soon. But yes, definitely got the. Uh, these shirts here, so you do with the crest, you got the full chest, chest, back, back, crest, back, all the different variations you can get. So, I'm starting to see them in the community. Some fellow brothers are starting to buy them and get them, showcase them like on Instagram and in their videos, like uh, Shaving Cyclist Peter, I've seen, he did a video, he had my shirt on, it was just so cool. Another fellow Michigander, I love you, Peter. He actually took a picture of himself at the gym exercising with the shirt. <laughs> and I was like, heck yeah, get a pump, dude. <laughs> get pumped up with the Shave Arcade merch. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's so cool. All right. Wow. Let's get a little bit right under the nose. There we go. Yes. See, I just dip my razor right in the water. And there's enough residual slickness that I could do this touch up right here. And not worry about it. No irritation whatsoever. Look at that, guys. No bleeding or anything. Boom. Beautiful shape. I cannot 
stop smelling this stuff. <laughs> it's just so good. Let's rinse. <laughs> that is so good. Highly recommend it. <clears throat> like I said, especially if you're, I mean, it's, I want to say 2.5, I think. It's a, um, 5.2 fluid ounce. So how that correlates, um, what, 150 millimeters. But, uh, I mean, it's a small little puck. So, you know, for travel. But if anything, you probably just, you know, scrape some off and put them in something and take it with you. Um, or just buy one of those big, huge, mega kilo bricks and take a chunk off and take that with you. <laughs> There you go. So, wherever you want to get down, that's up to you. So, there we go. Okay. Wow. Great shave, guys. That was quick, quick work. I do have to say. And it smells amazing in here. Now for... The next step here, which is the aftershave. Like I said, it smells amazing all by itself. Um, I mean, there's sometimes I even just use this as a, a cologne, as a splash by itself. It smells that good. So, get that in there. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. Gosh, that smells so good. It, it takes that scent to a whole other level. So like I said, you, you, you got to get them both, the soap and the aftershave. Uh, there is a balm as well. Um, but if anything, at least get these two because they smell so nice. I mean, you can use this in the morning. You can use it going out before you go out, you know, go out in the town. Uh, it just smells so good. feels amazing. And I mean, yes. So definitely recommend picking that up. Get the cella, get the soap. Get on my level. <laughs> I cannot wait to uh, to do the shave again, but I cannot wait to see you guys again. So I do appreciate you guys stopping by to the Shave Arcade. Much appreciated. Again, my name is Angelo. I see you next time. Shave Arcade.